Oh, hallelujah, glory, 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 glory to God. Lord, we give you praise, we bless and magnify your name. We worship and adore you for who you are, what you've done in our lives. If not for your mercies, we would have been consumed. We thank you for bringing us onto the first Thursday of the year, the first midweek service of the year. You have been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Can we lift up our voices and just begin to thank the Lord Jehovah God for his love, for his care, for his compassion, for all that he has done. He has been faithful in 2020 and now we're in 2021. Let's give him praise from the depths of our hearts. Let's worship and adore him. He is a good God. He's a mighty father. He's a very Oh, mashi kabara basi bredo shtele kriyan de le brege de bolso rakaba libre nekin de si frodoko breke tevre deki akabashta iga brade se tele breke tevre deki akande le brodo su frodo shtolo brege de gede gede rike le bre nekin de su frodoko breke tevre deki jaba kali braga ga 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 we worship you, Jehovah God. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. You, we give you all the glory. Kari basi bredek yekendo sufro doko. Rika la braga ga 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 ga. We worship you. Li create si brodoko breke te vredekia. Makande le brege de bo shete le braga ga 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 ga. She ni madupe she ni mo ni o. I ni ye lori Jesus she ni madupe o baba. I kabaru so to lo breke te vredekia. Jeke brado so braga te le brege de bo sha. You can sing out in songs of praise to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I kabra do so breke te vredekia. Jeke te le breke te ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te kri ato subro doko she ni madupe she ni mo ni o kade kruda saba gadashte yeke te le broko sufre di ai ni ye lori jesu she ni madupe o baba gbope mi o luwa aya baka supro to sufre di shta o shubere mare kendele bragadushta rakabali brege te ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te jeke li brodoso to lo breke te vrede I worship you, Jehovah God. You are here. Ah, yeke bo subre dikia. In our midst, how we waited for moments like this. Have your way in this place. Holy Spirit, come do as you will. We are changed as you move in our midst. Eke de bo shete le brege de bo shta. We thank you, Jehovah God. We give you praise. We bless your name. We say thank you. We say thank you. O Nishe Yanu. You are the God of awesome wonders. I've tasted of your powers. Makita Bradoso Bregedebede. O Nishe Yanu. You have shown us so much mercy. Much more than I deserve. Candele Bosha. Yeketele Bregedebe. Is there somebody under the sound of my voice that can say he has shown you so much mercy? Much more than you deserve. I am a candidate of that statement. Uh, and I just want to say thank you, Jehovah God. Ika bradoso tolo breke tevre dekia. Makandele breke de bosha. Rika la bradasi tele brondo sufro doko breke tevre dekia. I worship you. Kandele bosha. E kendele breke de bosha. Mm-mm. You are worthy to be praised. I give you all. Ayabasata. The glory candele boshete. I worship you, my God. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. I worship you, my God. You are worthy to be praised. Can you lift up your voices and just worship him? Ekari gabaso 
Koko Brekete Vredekia, Makandele Bregede Bosta, Rakabala Braga Gaga 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 Le prosut yakabashte, me prosut yokoboshte, le kriande le bregede boshta, le kriate si brodoku, let praises rise, let it rise, kande le boshata, ye kete le broko soto lo brekete kete 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 kete, rakabali bronoko brekete vredekia, rekete le broko soto lo braga gaga 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 gaga, let praises rise, let praises rise, kande le bosha. Jabaka libro kosoto shikabala let it rise let it rise from the inside oh hallelujah oh hallelujah oh hallelujah of me may you be like in the inside in the inside of me Come feel my life on the inside, from the inside of me. Set me on fire from the inside, from the inside of me. All I want. It's for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. I all I want, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. I let praises rise. From the inside, from the inside of me, may you be like in the inside, in the inside of me. Come feel my life on the inside. From the inside of me, set me on fire. From the inside, from the inside of me, cause all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted, I all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, I all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted up. Feel my life to all I see is you, Lord. Kandele bo shata la braga da ba shata. Feel my heart. Till all they see is you, Lord. Lord, see the ba 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 Candle of Shaka, the broken circle of the ticket ticket. Fill me up till I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Ah, Shabbata, the broken suit Yakaba. Yet a celebrate of such 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 a
It's for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted up. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted up. All I want, all I want, all I want, all I want, Lord, is for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted up. Aya baka sa telebro do sofro do ko bagaliga baru so tolo brigete kete. Oh yes, Lord. Come on, sing. Shika bara basa telebro do so tolo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That's my heart's desire. That's my heart's cry. That you will be glorified. That you'll be lifted high. That men will see you as you are. The great on, God, the self existing one. Want, the one above all, above all, above all, above all. Above all. Be the, be the Almighty God, all powerful God. Oh, all sufficient. Ye ke tele breke te ke te ke te ke te ke ba 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 Come on, open your mouth and let's lift up the name of Jesus. Surebani da damani anso tai, da damani anso tu re da damani anza, ora damani anso tu re da mama na di anza tai, ure be di anga di anso, ure ba di damani anso tu re mama di anza, e kora ba ba di anso ya, e ure be di anga anso ma, e tore ba di anza. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory above our issues. We got a man the answer. We give you glory, and we declare that your name is above every name. Come on, lift him up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah! Glory to God. We give you praise. We bless and magnify your name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. I welcome you to the first midweek service of the year 2021. Um, we are restarting the midweek services once again. We are relaunching, releasing, rebirthing, rebranding, whatever re you can. You know, like Sunday, I said, this is the year of the good re. There are so many re's that as we go through this year, we'll be discovering so many re's that God has already embedded into the year to keep us moving steadily towards our goal and to keep us uh, on the right path that at the end of the day, at the end of the year, we'll have so many testimonies. There will be radical transformations, radical manifestations of God's goodness and God's glory. And so that's why we'll just be following step by step step throughout this year there's a lot that will be unpacked in god and i just want to start off um, with the word restart um, for a lot of us um, we already have an idea of what the word restart is and um, i actually did a little search on google to look at the meaning of restart and um, let, let me see let me go back there and just check again the word restart okay 
what does this mean it says to start again it says to have a new start or a new beginning like um, in a situation whereby something was interrupted then you restart you you start again you start from the beginning now the year 2020 has come and has gone and we're now in a new year and is a restart of a new year so the old things have passed away the new things have begun so i want us to um, be able to close the book on 2020 knowing that god has already settled that um, yesterday is in the past and is already in the tomb and today is what we have that we can utilize to have a bright future so we've got to close the book on 2020 yeah you made some mistakes so though that's one of the first things you need to even sit down and look have an inventory on what went right in 2020 and what went wrong in 2020 sit down do a self-analysis and see okay these are the areas i improved and these are the areas i flunked out and in the areas you flunked out increase your level of uh, determination to turn things around in those areas but i will say don't focus so much on those areas focus on the areas that you got right and find creative ways of enlarging it the more because in 2021 you will have new opportunities to be able to walk into greater levels of graces new opportunities to walk into greater levels of manifestation new opportunities to walk into greater levels of victory so in 2021 it's packed and loaded and that's why you've got to restart don't 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 go on trying to bring in the 2020 uh uh problems into 2021 no let it rest there uh the, the sufficient is the day's uh problems by itself so the grace to be able to solve each day's problems is already on you and that's one of the things we want to talk about so we are restarting 2021 and in the Bible, let's just look into the Bible. In 2 Corinthians, okay, in 2 Corinthians, um, I believe it's chapter 13, okay, I'll come back to you, Isaiah. So let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 13, I believe it's verse 5. What does verse 5 say? This was the last um, um, letter to the Corinthians. In fact, the last paragraph or let me say, yeah, more or less like the last paragraph. You know, the letter was written straight up, but uh, for better emphasis, we divided it into chapters. This is the last chapter in the writing to the people called the Corinthian church. Now, you will see in verse 5, uh, okay, maybe what I'll do is this. I'll read, you know, we usually like to read in context so that we can get the full uh, understanding of what was said in that particular place. So 2 Corinthians chapter 13, I'll read from verse 1, the last chapter of the book of 2 Corinthians. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. So here was Paul telling them that this is the best way to be able to have things and be able to hold on to things. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time and being absent now I write to them which here to of here to for have sinned and to all other that if I come again I will not spare since ye seek a proof of Christ speaking in me which is you word is not weak but is mighty in you for though he was crucified true witness yet he liveth by the power of God for we also are weak in him but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. So verse 5 is where I'm going. Examine yourself, whether ye be in faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own self, how that Jesus Christ in you, except ye be reprobate. Now, I read KJV, so I won't just read... I want to just compare some different translations. I actually like a particular translation called Easy English. It says, think carefully about how you yourselves are living. Think carefully about how you yourselves are living. Ask yourself whether you are really believing Christ. Decide certainly about yourselves. 
you ought to know that Jesus Christ is in you. You ought to know this unless you do not really belong to him. Now that translation made it very clear. It said, think carefully about how you yourselves are living. So that's why I said starting off the new year, it's a time to reflect and think, how did I live in 2020? How should I live in 2021? What are the things I need to correct so that 2021 can be far, far better than 2020? So those are some of the things of being able to close the book on 2020. If you've not done that, there will be many things that will be cropping up from 2020 that will be entering into 2021. And you will have a mixture of 2020 and 2021. But that wouldn't be a restart. A restart is a new beginning, meaning that everything that was old has been jettisoned with, and now I'm starting afresh. Now, this should have actually been done in December towards the ending of the year, but in case you didn't do it, you still have enough time. You still have at least this next one week to be able to restructure, re-strategize. You can see those are some of the re's that will be coming up to be able to look at or effectively what is 2021 going to be like. You've got to be able to say, just like this translation, 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5, easy English translation, that says, think carefully about how you yourselves are living. Not have lived, but are living. So what have you done since the last six days or seven days now in the year 2021 what are the things you've done that should be a pointer to show that 2021 will be good if you've not done any of those things then it's time to re-strategize it's time to look at it and say okay i've got to rearrange myself have i been involved in prayer of uh, um of recent in the last um seven days have i been in a, a state of meditation have i sat down to hear from god what he wants me to do in 2021 have i looked at my career or looked at my marriage or looked at my business or looked at my children or looked at my spouse or looked at any of those things and then refocus and re-strategize or look at okay what are the areas i need to improve on have i done those things because you've got to be able to do that bible says no man goes to a war without first counting the cost and seeing does he have enough to be able to meet and mitigate against the the enemy at hand You've got to be able to look at the, okay, so how am I living currently? A lot of times, people want to experience greatness or experience some wonderful things in 2021. And 2021 is packed with it. But that's why we're having so many re's involved that you'll be able to start afresh. So restarting the year 2021 means that you will also re-strategize. It means also that you will also refocus. It means also that you will sit down, analyze what happened and what ought to happen in 2021. So I want to take some time out in this particular week to be able to write out what are your goals for 2021 what are the things god is speaking to you about 2021 what are the things you want to improve in 2021 and how do you want to keep yourself accountable in improving those things it's one thing to set a goal it's another thing to draw up the bridges i tell people there is a simple system that you can use it's called s-i-b-k-i-s see it big keep it simple see it big keep it simple if you're a student under the sound of my voice one of the things you may want to say is okay i want a's then you've seen it big then how do you keep it simple how do you break down a's into workable steps and workable strategies one of the first things you may need to do is know that okay i didn't do all my assignments and do it very well in 2020 i will do better in 2021 as soon as they give me assignments i will research find out do all the necessary things so that my assignments are submitted on time and done excellently well i will also read after every of the classes so that i already have a good grasp of what was taught me if i have questions i will ask the questions in the next class so that i can be able to cover up and know that okay as per this particular topic i'm covered so i'll be able to do that the more you are willing to change one or two things the more you'll now find out that you are building steps so that by the time a test comes you're already prepared you get a, a, a 19 over 20 or a 20 over 20 in the test so you already have two tests and you already have 40 or maybe 38 or maybe 37 in the test 37 over 
40. What you'll be gunning for to get an A will not be uh, anything other than maybe a 50 over 60 and you're already true and you already have 87. An A. So A's are possible. The same way with work. Maybe, okay, I need a promotion this year. Now, you need to just ask yourself, what are the criteria for you to be promoted? Then you break it down. So you've seen it big. You break it down into walkable steps. Okay, I need good appraisals. Okay, I need to be able to take up uh, more responsibility. Okay, I need to be in a particular project. That's the only way they will recognize me. You find those things and work yourself effectively towards that. You will meet your goal. 2021 is loaded with so much that God wants to give to you, but you've got to... Think carefully about how you are living. The next part of that particular verse says, ask yourself whether you are really believing Christ. That's another question you need to ask. Am I truly believing Christ? Someone says, ah, pastor, yes, obviously, that's why I'm in a Thursday meeting. No, 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 not exactly. See, believing Christ means believing in the anointed one and his anointing. Believing that Christ is able to turn around any situation. Have you dropped some dreams in 2020 and closed the book on 2020 with those dreams? No, dreams are not meant to be closed with 2020. They're supposed to be transported into 2021 and now even enlarge the more. I will be coming to that very soon. And now even enlarge the more. So the dreams of 2020 that did not materialize should be brought into 2021. And this time around, you should be looking. Do I believe Christ? can produce that result? Do I believe, yeah, I can become a millionaire? Do I believe, yeah, I can be a consistent Christian, uh, shining the light, living for God, and producing results? Do I believe I can be the head and the tail and above only and not beneath? Do I believe those things? So that, that's the question. That's the raw question. See, when you ask yourself deep sitting questions and you can give yourself the right answers, you have moved your life forward already. So one of the things you need to do is ask yourself yourself are you really believing christ the anointed one and his anointing do i believe in his anointing do i believe in the anointed one do i believe that christ is able to help me in my situation or do i believe it's not he is not able do i believe that his power that is at work within me both to will and to do of his own good pleasure is able to lift me up and give me a wonderful 2021 or do i not believe if i am not yet fully in faith concerning that what am i supposed to do refuel that's what we do that you see i told you that there are so many reasons that will be coming you refuel you get the word of god into you that tells you that christ in you the hope of glory the hope the hope the hope of glory you understand that Christ on the inside of you was meant to give you the victory, the push that you need to have the victory in 2021. And you've got to get into the word and start listening to messages, listening to tapes. Maybe go back to some of the messages that have been preached in 2020 and listen over and over and over till it rings in your heart and faith rises up so that you can produce the results. Because the question is, this, are you truly believing Christ? The next thing that is there is decide certainly about yourself. Decide certainly about yourself. Don't let people decide for you. You be the one that is the determining factor. A lot of times we enter into year 2021 and we just look at it. Okay, so what's what's going to happen now? Uh, what I what what was the economy going to do? What what was the government going to do? The government, yes, will do what they need to do. The economy, yes, it will do what it wants to do. But you are the one that is the determining factor. You can make it rain upon your land consistently just by your mere will. Hmm? I'll say it again. You can make it rain upon your land consistently just by your mere will. How? Very simple. You've got to be able to realize that locked on the inside of you is the God that made all things. That's why we first ask that question. Do you truly believe in Christ? Because if you understand that you are a Christian now and that 2021 is your year of the great and the good reason, then you know that you are going to be rewarded. You will be rewarded for the things that you are believing God for. You will receive. Do you understand? You will receive. Those are things that you must be aware of. You've got to be able to tell yourself that I 
truly believe for myself that 2021 will be a great year i don't need the government to tell me i don't need the economy to tell me i don't need my company to tell me i don't need anyone except the fact that god has already spoken to me that 2021 is my year of good reason is my year of rewards is my year of receiving so you've got to be able to sit effectively on that you ought to know that jesus christ is in you that is still in that same verse that same verse second corinthians 13 5 easy english translation that same verse yes is it yeah look at this it says you ought to know that jesus christ is in you mm. that statement is heavy because uh in 2020 there was a serious barrage, a serious, um, how can I put it? There was a siege on trying to bring down the concept of the power of God. It was that you are under the powers of the world, and that was not true. So as many that were able to break out of it and still believe God, God victories even in 2020. But there were so many that did not get as many victories as they should. In 2021, they are starting again, trying to build another bulwark, a siege. This time around, realize, recognize what they are doing. Do you not know that Christ dwells in you? Because Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, not I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. The life I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. So it's no longer I that live. It's Christ, Christ, the anointed one and his anointing that lives within me. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You see that in First John, you will see that as we are going to be studying one of the things that is very critical and very important. It's called the God factor, um, the God man principle, the God man principle, wherein, um, uh, uh, okay, let me not jump. But that is, is one of the things we'll be studying in the year 2021. And it's crucial. You've got to understand who is in you. You've got to understand who you are in Christ Jesus. You've got to understand who you carry. Waiting you carry is greater than anything that is outside there in the world. And you've got to understand it. So it says you ought to know this, that Christ is in you. You ought to know this. So it's going to be one of the things that you will dwell upon in 2021. Consistently re-invite, re reinventing yourself. Reinventing yourself. Uh, the you that was in 2020 is still not the great you. Because the greater you is in 2021. So you've got to reinvent yourself. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, as we behold in a glass, we are being changed from one level of glory to another. First Corinthians 13, I believe, are being changed from one level of glory unto another. As we are being changed, as we are being transformed, as we are being changed, one level of glory to another. That's what God expects of us. And what we are supposed to do is focus on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. See, okay, Jesus, what would you do in this situation? Jesus, how would you perform in this situation? Jesus, I look to you greater on the inside. Come forth and manifest yourself. And then you see 2021 looking much, much different than 2020. In 2021, there will be greater victories in the name of Jesus. In 2021, there will be greater manifestations in the name of Jesus. In 2021, there will be greater testimonies in the name of Jesus. In 2021, there will be greater manifestations of God's goodness it, like never before you will see so much happening for you happening in you happening through you in the mighty name of Jesus in 2021 it's the year of us revisiting and realizing oh shakabasu today I want to read that scripture one more time from the uh, this easy English translation that's 2nd Corinthians 13:5. 
13 5. If you just joined us, we were reading 2 Corinthians 13 5. If you can go online and check the easy English translation, it will do you a lot of good. It says, Think carefully about how you yourselves are living. Ask yourselves whether you are really believing Christ. Decide certainly about yourselves. You ought to know that Jesus Christ is in you. You ought to know this unless you do not really belong to him. My simple question is this. Do you belong to him? Then if you do and you are aware, then you've got to realize that the part on the inside of you is greatness. Part on the inside of you is 2021 fully settled successful glorious full of testimonies full of victories full of manifestations full of miracles full of transformations full of all things good 2021 is that year for you is that year of all things good all things good all things good that's why we are restarting right now because we want to have a fresh a new experience, a fresh and new experience, a fresh and new experience. We've had some great things in the past, but we desire fresh fires. We desire fresh manifestations. We desire fresh transformations. We desire it. And that's what we're getting. That's what we're getting. In 2021, that shall be our testimony and our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want us to look at um, Isaiah. 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 Chapter 51. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's wondering what's in Isaiah 51. Let's see it together. Let's see it together. Isaiah 51. 51. Are you there? Say, uh, huh, uh, huh. Okay. I didn't hear you. Okay. You're trying to get there. Okay. No problem. I'll start reading. Isaiah 51 from verse 1 to 4. I want to read in context. It says, Hacking to me. I'm reading from the KJV version. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and to Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. And he will make wildernesses like Eden. And a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. Hallelujah. This particular scripture already clearly tells us what we should be doing in the first week of the year. And it's already showing us that we should be listening for his voice. In verse 4, it says, a law, a commandment will proceed from me. I believe strongly that there are instructions God will give to you in this particular week that will transform the 2020 experiences and bring 2021 experiences into manifestation. 2021, wiping the tears of 2020. 2021, clearing the debris of 2021. 2021, showing forth massively. 2021, showing forth massively and mightily, taking away all the sorrows of 2020. That in 2021, you will have the victories. You will have the breakthroughs. You will have the the testimonies you will have the turnarounds you will have the elevations you will have the promotions you will have the testimonies of god's goodness and favor but the instructions are very clear in isaiah 51 verse 1 he says hearken to me follow after my righteousness you seek the lord look unto the rock Whence you were hewn, from where you were taken from, and to the pit from where you were dug, you must be looking unto the 
foundation principles. That's one of the things we'll be doing from February all the way to uh, almost June. We're going to be studying the foundational principles so that we can look to where we have been hewn from. Sometimes when you look at a mirror, you forget how you used to look. So that's why you need to consistently keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on refueling, keep on refueling consistently. Why? Because there is a long journey ahead. You want to oh she bredoso fredishtala create. Let me say this slowly. When I said there is a long journey ahead, what that means for you is this: the distance of the glory of the manifestation and the transformation that you will experience is far from where you used to experience before. I'll say it again. Even break it down. Let's see. Let's give an example. That in 2020, you achieved 1 million in value of manifestations and glory. In 2021, the distance away from that 1 million will not be 1 million and 5. No, it will be a long journey. It will be a far country. It will be as far as the east is from the west, which means there will be dramatic manifestations, dramatic transformations, dramatic elevations, dramatic candelabosha, quantum leaps like never before, radical departures like never before, radical transformations like never before, that in 2021, you will not be able to recognize you ever experienced some things in 2020. Why? You would have left it. You would have, it would be a calibra do sofre. Just like Mephibosheth left Lodaba, it will be the same for you, that you will move from the lowly clay and be seated in with the kings and the princes of the land. You will move from someone who was in the backside of the desert and you will be experiencing the feast at the table of the king. That is your portion in 2021. And that's why the Bible is saying, look from where you were hewn. What was the promise? What was the testimony? What was the victory that God had promised you before the foundations of the earth? What was it that he said? He said that he had already given you the victory. That was what he said before the foundations of the earth. That was what Jesus came to accomplish. So that's what you're supposed to look at. Look back to the promises that were given to you. Look back to where you were hewn from, where you were taken from, because that's it. That's it. That's it. That's the glory. That's where you are supposed to be. Look at it. Don't forget where you are coming from. Look at verse 2. He says, look unto Abraham your father, unto Sarah that bear you. I called him alone. And blessed him and increased him. He was alone, but I blessed and increased him and turned him into a father of many nations. In the same way, he's saying to you that in 2021, uh, that I called you alone and I will make you a father of many nations. Look back at the promise I gave to you. I said, in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Uh, I said, I bless you in your going out, bless you in your coming in. That's what he has said. So you look back to those promises. You pick Isaiah, oh, Shabali created. You Peak Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I, oh, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. You pick the scripture that says he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anointed my head with oil. Look back at the promises. Mm-mm-mm. Look back at all the promises that he has given to you. That's one of the things he's saying. He's saying, look at Abraham, how I changed and transformed his life. That's what I want to do with you in 2021. And you've got to keep looking at my promises, keep looking at where you are taken from. For we are products of the word. So go back into the word. That's why we are restored. 
starting again. Candele Bosha for a new experience, uh, new levels of glory, new levels of manifestations, new levels of experiences. Candele Briakaba, Lubredicetia, in verse 3, it says, For the Lord shall comfort Zion. This is, see, he's telling you what he's doing in 2021. The Lord shall comfort Zion. You are the Zion he's talking about. For he will comfort all her waste places. Maybe there were wasted uh, ventures, wasted efforts, wasted things uh, in 2020. He's saying he's closing the book on 2020 and giving you uh, a comfort in place of all those waste places. Uh, comfort. He, he's bringing the wilderness. He's turning your wilderness into Eden. Candele Bosha. He said, Look at what he says. And he will make your wilderness like Eden. Candele be Akba. Wilderness changing to Eden. That's a radical departure. And her deserts like the garden of the Lord. A radical departure. Garden of the Lord is fruitful. It's full of water, full of produce, full of results. It's oh shikabaraba It's like one that says that he makes me to lie down. He greed pastures. Candele Boshe there. That's what he says he's doing. And her deserts like the garden of the Lord. Joy. No, no, notice. Notice. He says, joy and gladness shall be found therein. Eh? Mm -mm -mm. Joy and gladness shall be found in your homes in the name of Jesus. Joy and gladness shall be found in your marriages in the name of Jesus. Joy and gladness shall be found in your kids in the name of Jesus. Joy and gladness shall be found in your businesses in the name of Jesus. Joy and gladness shall be found, shall be found in your career in the name of Jesus. You will have reasons to rejoice. Ah, did you hear it? Reasons to rejoice. Candele Bosha together and be exceedingly glad. He says, uh, found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. That's his promise to you. That's his promise for 2021 to you. That's why we're restarting this way. That's his promise for 2021 to you. That you will have reasons to rejoice and voice of melody. We sing consistently. Why? From one victory to another. From one level of glory to another. Why? Not just because, oh, whew, God did it. No, no, no. But because you are steadily, consistently following his step. Following and realizing where am I from? Don't forget the scripture that we talked about that you realize that Christ is in you already. Then verse 4 says, Hearken unto me, which means as you go on the journey throughout 2021, keep your ear focused on God. Keep your ear to what he has to say. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me. Notice, he's saying, listen to my instructions. Because he's going to say here now, and mine arm, oh no, sorry, I'm jumping. Oh my nation, for a law shall proceed from me. So he's saying he's going to give you his directions, his instructions. I will make my judgments to rest for a light of the people. Atika Basutia. I want to read it from another translation. He says, listen to me, you people who are trying to be very good. And listen to me, you people who are coming to the Lord. Think about the rock from which he caught you. And think about the rocky place from which he took you. Think about your ancestor, Abraham, and think about Sarah, whom you came from. When I spoke to Abraham, he was only one man. Then I blessed him and made him many people. Surely the Lord will be kind to Zion and he will make it strong again. He will mend all the places there that... He will mend all the places there that the enemy destroyed. He will make the sandy places like the Garden of Eden. He will make the wild places like the Garden of the Lord. People will be happy there. They will feel very happy there. People will hear songs that thank God. Listen to me, my people, and hear me, my country. The law will go out from me, and what I fairly decide will be like a light to every country. Oh, hallelujah. You see... What God is saying about 2021 is awesome. He's saying, just listen to me. Remember where you're coming from. Remember who is on the inside of you. 
Remember the capacity that you have. Remember that greater is he that is in you. Remember the fact that I'm inside of you. Remember that, and this time around, go after the things you, you desire in 2021 and go get it. Because I am in you to make it happen. I'm in you to make it happen. I'm in you to make it happen. So that's why we will focus and dream big. We will look at things and take it. We will receive Candele Bosha, because it's our reward. Candele Biakaba, Dick Brosuti Akabashta, Jeketele Brocosoto lo brekete ketekete, Jean de le brege de Sufro doko breketiki yakaba, Agaru soto lo brekete ketekete ketekete, Jeketele brado sofre diki in du supra katiki tiki yakaba, Shikabaru soto lo brekete ketekete. I'm just going to play this song for you, and I want you to pray as you are listening to this song. He's going to be breathing upon you. Do see sang a song, breathe. I want you to imagine yourself receiving fresh grace from the most high. Fresh grace from the most high. After the song, I'll come right back and we'll continue on this. Hallelujah. Breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, upon your father to joy, spirit to spirit, lighted by your word, and with your bread of life, that's how I come alive, that's how I change my world. Father to joy, from your spirit to my spirit, I am lighted by your word, and with your breath of life, that's how I come alive, that's how I change my world, just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your hair, your hair is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Say, Father, to joy. Father, to joy.
tunnel and declare just breathe your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We could have gone on and on, but I just want to just quickly come back in and um, say this, that um, with all that has been said today, there is need for you, number one, like we had mentioned, take an inventory, sit down and look. Remember where you came from. Look at the things that are already on the inside of you. Realize 2021 is for you realize it's going to be far better than 2020. One of the things people do not realize is the fact that the state of your life is also a representation of the state within your heart. So the more you can get your heart to open up and see the great and glorious opportunities and manifestations, so also your life will begin to gravitate towards that particular as a man thinketh in his heart so easy so the more we're able to think thoughts that's why jesus was saying and god was saying go back look to the place from where you were hewn look to what your 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 foundation was remember where we started from i started telling you stories from abraham's point that i took a man one man one man one man and one woman and i changed them and i caused them to be the father of many nations that's a Hey, we, if they are not alive, but their legacy still keeps on recounting till tomorrow. And I can do the same for you. That's what he's saying. He can do the same for you. That in 2021, you will step into your own. That in 2021, you will step into the things that God has already prepared for you. That in 2021, your ministry will come alive. That in 2021, you will be recognized, celebrated, and rewarded. Candele boso brakata kata. Remember, recognized. Candele boso. I told you that so many reads. Recognized, celebrated, and rewarded. So please understand, God is interested in giving you a massive restart. Start with Him this year. Restart with Him this year. Restart. Start with him this year. I want to round up by just reading um, from Isaiah chapter 50. Oh, I believe it's 54. Isaiah 54. Oh, shugli brosoto. I'm going to read from verse 1. It says, Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. Thou that didst not travel with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. Spear not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. We could go on and on because this chapter is really for you. It's your 2021. But just the first thing there, it says, sing. Start rejoicing now. Rejoice over 2021. Ah, huh? Yes. Second Chronicles 2020, that's your picture. That's where you are hewn from. It shows that Jehoshaphat told the people, start singing, start praising God, even before the battle. And because they were singing and praising God, the Lord wrought ambushments against the people of Ammon, Mount Seir, and Moab. 
and they were utterly destroyed. That's where you are hewn from. That's where you are coming from. So you've got to look at it and do likewise. Rejoice. I say again, rejoice. Rejoice. Spend time rejoicing over 2021 because it's going to be far better than 2020. You are allowing God to be involved in 2021 and I say you are allowing God to be involved in 2021 to such a point that ambushments are being made concerning all the strategies and the devices of the enemy, that all their strategies will be subsumed, consumed, destroyed, and you will walk upon level ground. You will walk into places you did not expect. You will have results you did not expect. You will have things happen for you because you just started the year real. You are faithful till the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. You're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life, and I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me. Oh, Jesus, you're too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail me hey, da, da, da.
are too committed to leave me. Oh Jesus, you are too consistent to leave me halfway. Yeah. What you start, you always finish. Lord, I've come to realize that you are too faithful to fail me. What you start, you always finish. Lord, I'm here to testify. You're too faithful to fail me. Hallelujah, glory to God. Um, that song is there. You are too faithful to fail me. That's one of the rocks from which you have been hewn. So remember that and stay focused on that and restart the year thinking that way. Hallelujah, glory to God. We'll be um, stopping here and calling it a wrap. Uh, but before we do, um, you can give your offerings to God. Um, the details have been posted into the chat room and also um, on the speaker chat room as well so you can make use of the information and sow your seed unto God. Let me just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the praise and all the glory. Lord, your word says, and we lay hold on this promise, that you will wake us morning by morning. Our ears will receive instruction, our hearts will increase in learning. This shall be the portion of each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. That in this season, we will hearken unto you and will hear your command and walk in it and produce results thereby. That 2021 will be far, 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 far better than 2020 in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace on all sides, right now and forevermore, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare you are a thousand times more this year in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.